Okay, and let's take a look at uh, question number nine here, where we have a, a closet organizer that has a scale of one to 30. So the first thing I guess we need to look at here is what does that scale mean for one to 30? So if we write it, um, whether we write it as a fraction or whether we write it as a, uh, a dot ratio, um, what that is probably telling us is that for every one unit on the model, um, so this could be the model, um, diagram or the model shape, um, it, the real object is 30 times greater. Oops. So then we can say that the real one here is 30 times greater. So <clears throat> if three parts shown on the diagram are 2.3 centimeters, 3.1 and 4.9, what are the actual dimensions? So this is implying a couple of things. This is saying that one of the measurements, for example, the 2.3 centimeters is actually the model. So it's the 2.3 centimeters on the model, and we want to know what is the real um, dimension going to be in terms of the life size model. So <clears throat> if you think back to what we did with unit analysis, okay, we, we have 2.3 centimeters, but it's the model measurement. So I need to calculate, I need to multiply by the scale ratio such that the model measurement cancels out. Sorry about that cancels out and leaves us with the real measurement. So this means that we could put the model on the bottom, which is one, and the real value on top, which is 30. So then by unit analysis, the models cancel out. And this means that we're left with 2.3 times 30, which is the centimeters for the real object. So this will give us 69 centimeters for the real object. Okay, so we would do the same thing for each of the dimensions in order to figure out um, what 3.1 would be and what 4.9 would be. Because remember, those are just the dimensions given for the model, which is the, the drawing or the, the diagram that's put on paper. But we're actually having to calculate what the real scale would be. So that's where it's, it's kind of important to understand what that scale number is actually referring to. Because remember, there are two values for scale. Okay, one is going to refer to usually the real thing and one refers to the model thing. Or like we were looking at in other questions, one could be um, the larger object and one could be the smaller object. Okay, so that's um, a way to get you going on that question. You should be able to calculate the other two values from this.